2003, THQ published Talk on the Power of Juju, released for the Sony PlayStation 2 and the Nintendo consoles of the GameCube, Game Boy Advance. Owing to an indigenous theme, the game had aspects of platforming with the plot of the game being that of an ancient prophecy foretells that the Moon Juju, benevolent protector of the Pupanunu people, would be weakened by the evil Tlok, a hateful Pupanunu shaman, so that he could turn all of the people into sheep, as revenge for not being made a higher status shaman as another was elevated, whom was Jabalba. The prophecy also mentioned a skilled and great warrior whom would be the one trained by the High Shaman to restore the Moon Juju, defeat Tlok, and bring peace to the lands of the Pupanunu people. Through the events in the story, Jabalba believes his apprentice of Lok to be the warrior of the prophecy, but is later turned into a sheep. And through events, another apprentice being that of Tak, is actually the chosen one as he helps Jabalba defeating Tlok by turning him into a sheep out of irony, and brings peace to the lawn through learning a great amount of abilities and techniques. Though the game received average reception from critics, there was enough interest in Talk for a sequel called Talk 2, The Stuff of Dreams, released in 2004. A third game would be released in 2005 called Talk, The Great Juju Challenge. At the time, interest in the Talk gaming franchise was mixed from gamers, depending on if they liked the juju aspect of the games according to the plot, or the fresh take on the platforming genre that the Talk franchise had given it. During the time of the second and third main Talk games, the United States network of Nickelodeon became a force within their development. In 2007, a period of just two years after the third game was released, a computer animated cartoon premiered on the network of the same title as the original game. Airing for just a single season of just 26 episodes, broadcasted from 2007 through 2009, it was the first completely computer graphic imagery based cartoon overseen by the channel's executives. The series had a number of differences or inconsistencies from the games. Tark and Jabilba's voice actors changed from the games to the cartoon. Within the games, Tark's village and its people were called the Pupanunu. But in the series, it's written as Pupununu, as the A is removed. Tlok, the main villain in the games, is spelled as Trok in the series. The official stance on the canonicity of the games to the television series, as them being in the same universe, is doubtful due to the many changes and inconsistencies between the games and the cartoon. Due to the varying examples from both sources, viewers were divided as to if it were a good series or a representation of talk outside the video gaming market. Ratings for the series quickly declined due in part to these changes. Oh, Nickelodeon never made any mentions of the cartoon after its cancellation. Sometimes a character can be forgotten because there were inconsistencies between how authentic the characters were between versions of the character in media. 